so many books here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a book haul. This is mainly a birthday book haul because I did get a lot of books for my birthday and then there are a few that are just kind of random that I've accumulated since the last time I did a book haul which was like three months ago but I received 30 was it over 30 it was over 30 books for my birthday and then I have like five random ones but I have them kind of organized so I have like books that I got on my shopping spree um, that are in like a category and then I have books that were gifted to me in a category and then I have some random ones in a category <laughs> 39 books actually um but i'm super happy because it's about time i feel like i had a bunch of books on my shelf that i wasn't really necessarily enjoying and so i'm really glad that i was able to get a bunch of new books and i even got rid of 30 books but yeah anyways let's get into the books uh let's do okay let's do books that were gifted to me first and then we'll go into the ones that i got for my shopping spree so first one is an entire set and it is the all souls trilogy that jenny got me from jenny reads maybe um she decided to give me this whole series from my shelf and i am so excited about it i've been wanting to read these for a really really long time so i'm really glad that she decided to get these for me um, her note is so sweet and I'm going to be using it as a bookmark throughout when I read these. Um, it says, because it's your birthday and birthdays are made for series. Hope your birthday is grand and full of all the love and joy you bring into the world from Jenny. So thank you so much, Jenny. I am super, super excited to read these and so, so grateful for you. You are so sweet. Um, okay, so next up I have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This one was gifted to me by my sister and brother-in-law. So my husband's sister and her husband and my cute little three-month-old nephew. Um, and then she also got me, uh, they also got me Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck and Milk and Honey by Ruby, Ruby, Ka Ka I don't know how to say that. I got these three. I'm really excited to read these. Um, I do want to read this really, really bad. Um, obviously, it's a book talk book. Um, this is a book that I read in high school and loved it. And so I really wanted my own physical copy of it. And then I do love just po like poetry occasionally. Um, uh, really during the summer, I really like to read some poetry. And I've had a good experience with this author. So I guess we're going to try it out and see how it goes. Okay, next up I have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This was gifted to me by my friend Alyssa, so thank you Alyssa if you're watching this video. Um, she is super sweet and just such a blessing in my life and so it was just really sweet of her to get me this. Um, she got me this book and then she also got me a mug that says Do Not Disturb on it and a foot soak and some loose leaf tea and it was literally just like the perfect little gift for me just everything relaxing in one bag it was amazing so i'm excited to read this one because i have been trying not to buy this every time i go into barnes and noble so um and next two books um are from my lovely friend sydney here on booktube sydney page books um and she got me the unhoneymooners by christina lauren and love in other words by christina lauren um so two christina lauren books which i'm excited about um and this is actually the new cover for love in other words the original one is orange i think um but i think it is just absolutely stunning i am a sucker for watercolor art um because i do watercolor myself so i really love watercolor art on books uh, and i have been wanting to read this one i have been hesitant to buy it because i have it on audiobook and i didn't want to spend the money if i had it on audio but if somebody gifts it to me that's even better so so thank you sydney i i've already told her thank you but Thank you again publicly. So the next five books I received from my in-laws. They are just like some of the sweetest human beings on the planet. Um, my mother-in-law actually gifted me a facial as well. So I literally went to a spa and got a facial for my birthday and it was spectacular. So that was like the best thing ever. If you guys haven't caught on by now, I really love relaxation. It's my favorite. Um, but not like lazy relaxation, like just healthy relaxation. Okay, so she got me uh the towering sky and the dazzling heights so these are book two and three in um the thousandth floor series which i have started i need to finish that book but i am super excited to read these because i'm really loving um the thousandth floor so far and i did want the entire series so i'm really excited that i now have the complete series 
Um, she also got me this one summer. This is like a really cute uh, graphic novel, um, which I have been wanting for a long time. I think it's been on my wish list for over a year at this point. So I'm really glad that she decided to scroll to the bottom and pick one of the ones that have been on there for a while. So yeah, I think this is gonna be really cute. And obviously I wanna read this in the summertime because you know, just the vibes of it all. Um, and then the next two books, super excited about these. Um, she got me A Court of Wings Ring, a Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. So now I have book three and four in this series. I have read Akatar and I, I haven't read Akamath yet. I need to read that one and then read all of these, obviously. And then I need to get the paperback of A Court of Silver Flames once that releases in September. So hopefully I'll be able to get that one um, so that I can have like the complete series on my shelves. I'm really excited and I don't know about you guys, but I actually love the neon look of all of these books. I'm not even lying. Like I think they are so cute and colorful and bright and fun. And I'm really excited to have like the complete series. I know that these aren't everybody's favorite, but I personally love them. Um, okay, so those are all the books that were gifted to me and now getting into the books that I bought um, myself. Well, I shouldn't say myself because I donate my books to a bookstore that gives you store credit um, and I already had like $45 in store credit before I got there and then I donated 33 books and got 88 more dollars in store credit so I'm at like what $150 now in store credit um, and then um, literally two days before my birthday I got my first YouTube paycheck and so obviously that money goes back into my channel so for any type of filming things that I need or books that I need for videos or whatever that is um, so I decided to use my paycheck I bought two new camera batteries so that I could have more than one battery and then I used the rest um, for shopping um, because Jonathan and I are trying to save money so I felt like I don't know I just wanted I just wanted to maximize my book shopping trip so I decided to use my paycheck on that I think I'm gonna start with this hefty stack of coho that I got <laughs> um, so if you guys have watched my channel um, you guys might know that I really love Colleen Hoover I mean I feel like most people do at this point um, so I ended up getting a lot of Colleen Hoover books that I'm excited for because I did a Colleen Hoover um, like trying Colleen Hoover's books on my channel and I kind of want to do a part two um, and I have enough of them to do a part two but anyways let's let's talk about the books that I actually purchased um, so I got Regretting You by Colleen Hoover really excited about this one I got All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover um, which I really like this edition actually like I love like just the like solid color kind of ones I did start this <laughs> Um, but I realized by watching one of Sydney's videos that there's like a certain order they suggest, like she suggests that you read her books in, at least like these ones, I guess, um, because there's like a certain timeline that's going on. So I stopped because I didn't want to, you know, mess the timeline up. Um, but I also got November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Really excited about that. Or November 9th. I guess it's November 9, not 9th. Um, and then I also got Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. So, good little wad of Colleen Hoover that I'm really excited about. Um, and definitely thinking of doing a, another Colleen Hoover taste test vlog. So, if you'd like to see that, you should subscribe so you can stick around. And then the next two books that I got, I got these at Barnes & Noble. And I saw that I've never seen this at Barnes & Noble. And maybe... It's because I literally haven't been in Barnes & Noble in months. Um, but I went to a different Barnes & Noble than my local one because this one that I went to just has, it's bigger so it has better selections and it's just a better Barnes & Noble. Um, but they had a spicy talk book uh, table that I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, and I found two books on that table that I'm so excited to read these. Okay, so I got Addicted to You and Twisted Love. So I'm starting both of these series, hopefully soon. I am so excited. <laughs> I really, oh my gosh. These are probably the ones that I am like most excited about. I'm so serious. I cannot wait to read these. I might do this in like its own vlog, like reading spicy talk books. Let me know if you guys would like to see that video because I feel like that would be a lot of fun to film. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Another book that I got was To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I really do want to read this series. I have seen 
the first and second movie I think I haven't seen the third movie um, but I know that the books are better I want to read the books um, and I kind of didn't want the movie cover but this is all they had at the secondhand bookstore that I was um, shopping at and it literally was half price if I just got this one so this book was literally five dollars I kind of had to get over the fact that it was the movie cover um, but I am excited to read this series I think it's gonna be cute and it seems like the perfect little light fluffy romance I also got, okay, going on the other end of the spectrum of <laughs> Flight Lovely Romance, I got um, The Cellar by Natasha Preston, which is a thriller kind of book. Um, I read Natasha Preston last summer. I read The Lake by her um, in my mountain vacation vlog um, and really, really, act like I actually really liked the book and I really want to read more of her, so I think it's going to be a great time. Um, I also got Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. I have read three other Grady Hendrix books. Maybe those are all of his books. I don't think it's all of them, but I have read three other books of his and none of them I really loved. <laughs> but I think the concept and the like style of this book is just so cool. And I think it's actually gonna be like really entertaining. So I think it'll be fun. So I'm trying it out again. I'm just keep going for Grady Hendrix. We'll see how it goes. Um, I also got Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. So I have read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have the paperback and I bought the hardcover because at the secondhand bookstore that I went to and the Barnes & Noble that I went to, they only had the hardcover of this. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get over it. I'm gonna just buy it, it'll be fine. And then I went to Target the very next day to use a Target gift card for book shopping and they had the paperback at Target. And I'm really mad at myself. Like, I am so mad at myself, but whatever. They don't match, and I'm just gonna get over it. It's gonna be fine. Next up, I got You've Reached Sam by Dustin. I don't know how to say that. I'm um, really excited about this one, too. I've heard that this one is, like, heart-wrenching, but it's also a really cute and beautiful story. So I'm excited to read this one as well. Um, I also got After by Anna Todd. So this one is also floating around booktube, booktop, and all of the things right now. So I'm excited to read this one. It definitely has a chunker. I don't know how I feel about chunkers. Uh, and I will say that I did watch this movie. I literally left in the middle of the movie because I, I shouldn't say the middle. It was towards the end, but I left early because I didn't like the movie. So I'm hoping that I will like the book at least. Anyways, moving on. Um, I also got Jade City by Fonda Lee. So I, um, we're getting into a few fantasy books now. Um, I've really been on a romance and thriller high, if you cannot tell. Um, but I have heard really good things about Jade City and I do want to read this. I think it's going to be really good. So I did, I did get this one. So we'll see how that one goes. Oh my gosh. I still have so many books. I need to hurry up. I also got The Atlas Six by Olive. Olivia? Olivia? I don't know. Blake? I don't know. Um, this is actually the book club, pick, book club pick for Sydney and I's book club in May. <laughs> so this is one of the picks. So I went ahead and just got it. Um, and I'm really excited about this. I kind of wish that I had the paperback edition, but I don't have it. They don't have it anywhere. The only way you can buy it on, on Amazon is for like $50 and I'm not paying that much for a paperback. Um, so I just went with this one, which it is pretty, like without the dust jacket on, like the gold foiling, like it really is stunning. But I do love a good paperback. I prefer paperbacks always. Um, and then, and then I got Lore Olympus by Rachel Smith. This is volume one. And this is like that really pretty one. Oh my gosh. Ha, huh, a book bar came out. It's so pretty. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, I literally had two books in my hand at checkout and I saw this on display like in the line and I literally handed those two books to Jonathan and I was like, I don't want these anymore and grabbed this one. <laughs> okay, these next three books I got in a, a little, a separate book shopping trip um, where I went to Target and did some book, book shopping. That video is up now if you would like to go watch it. I will link it in the description, all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, in that vlog um i ended up getting the murder game by carrie doyle this one sounds super interesting i also got one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus obviously this one is super hyped everybody loves this one um and then the one that i'm most excited about that i got on this target trip is good girls die first by katherine foxfield just look at this cover 
like the vibe of this cover is everything like the color palette like the this like all of it all of that like just so good and it takes place in an abandoned amusement park like that sounds so good I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, and then I do have a few books. I have five books that I got when Sydney and I met up in Tennessee. Um, I did get five books there that I haven't really talked about on my channel unless you've watched that video, so I thought I would just go ahead and talk about them. Um, but I got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I didn't realize there was that many names there. So I got this one. I got Verity by Colleen Hoover, which I did read and I absolutely loved. I also got House of Leaves, which I'm excited to read this one. I've heard that it's so creepy. The format of this book is like so fun. So I'm excited for this one. Oh, I almost knocked over a plant. I also got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, but the graphic novel version. If you know me, you know that The Great Gatsby is actually one of my favorite books. Um, I read it in high school and really clung to it and really just loved everything about it. And so when I saw this, I just had to get it. I just had to, so. And then I got The Deal by L. Kennedy, which I did read, did love, five stars. And lastly, I just have two random book of the month books that I've received in the last, I don't know how long. Um, and that is The Book of Cold Cases by Simon St. James. Super excited about this. I'm pretty sure this is just like a collection. I thought it was a collection of short stories, but maybe it's not, I'm not really sure. But this sounds super interesting. Sounds like something I would enjoy. So I picked it as one of my picks. Um, and then I also got Daisy Jones and the Six um, by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have read two of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I hated it. I'm so sorry. Um, and then I read Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I loved that one. So this one could be one or the other. I'm not really sure, um, but I feel like it'll be really fun. I've heard good things and it was book of the year in 2019. So that's gotta count for something, right? I think that is finally all of the books. I am super happy with everything that I got and I am super, super grateful for people in my life who love to gift me books. And I'm also grateful for this platform and this fun little hobby that has turned into a source of income um, that I just get to live the dream and just talk about books with you guys. It's really like one of the best things in my life. So yeah, I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will, I guess, see you in my next one.